What up YouTube, it's your boy that guy Guapo here with another sneaker review. Welcome to the channel if you are new. Uh, go ahead and watch, gosh that sun is bright. Yeah, another thing, I'm doing the VR here because there's no sunlight in my house whatsoever. But the sunlight here is crazy, as you can see I'm squinting. But welcome to the channel if you are new. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the vid. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch my uh, latest video about the Nike Vapor Max. Um, hope I'm sure you'll enjoy that. So, this person reached out to me from China. I'm gonna read you the email they sent me. This was about a few weeks ago. So they just said, told me their name, and they said they like my videos and my commentary about the shoes on my on my channel. Their website is awesomeshoes.ru. I'll put it in the description below. Basically, they said they like my videos and. They said they'll give me a discount if I purchase some shoes off their website and review the quality of the shoe for them. It's always sketchy ordering shoes from China because there's a lot of replicas that are made in China so I was kind of skeptical about it. But I just said whatever, I just went ahead and purchased two shoes off the website. If you go on the website they have a, a category that says authentic um, shoes. In that category I think what they're saying is that the shoes are of very good quality I think they're saying the quality is close to the actual shoe or they're either saying that the shoe is legit authentic I'm not actually sure the shoes came in yesterday and I'm gonna do this review for them just what the heck let's just go for it let's see let's see what I ordered and uh, let's see if these shoes are authentic or not and let's talk about the quality of the shoe but yeah, enough talking, let's get into the shoes. I'm only going to review one pair today. I don't want the video to be extra long, but this is one pair that I got. Alright, and I'm sorry to have to say this, but these are not going to be the shoes I'm reviewing today. We're going to save this for another video. If you want to check out what Yeezys I purchased, obviously the 350s, be sure to check out the next video. Hit. They are unreleased, um, and they're either the the McChickens, the frozen yellows, whatever you want to call them, the McDonald's, the yellows with the gum bottoms, or they're the Beluga 2.0s. If you want to find out, watch the next video. But yeah, putting these aside, these are the shoes we're going to be reviewing today. As you can see, this is an unopened package. Um, uh, the Yeezy Boost, the Yeezy package I opened because I couldn't wait, I couldn't wait to see them. But yeah, these are unopened, I saved this for y'all so y'all will be seeing this unboxing with me. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So what did I purchase? Alright, and these are also unreleased, so we'll see if these are authentic or not. So here are they are. The box is not in bad shape, there's little creases I'm sure because it was not double box, but that's all right. That is all right. Um, so yeah, let's open these. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so what did I order? Ooh. Mmm, the wind doesn't want to show y'all. Oh, there we go. The Jordan 6 Golden Harvest. So the Jordan 6 Golden Harvest or wheat, which whatever one, whatever name you want to call these, released November 21st. The retail price for these are $190. All right. So here's a first look at a unauthentic or an authentic pair of Jordan Six Golden Harvest. All right. Um, right off the bat, they are producing a strong, fresh. Uh, they, they they smell really good. You know you know an authentic smell, and when you can you know a shoe's authentic when you can smell it. These smell very fresh. Uh, they I don't know I can't really describe to you what they smell like through the camera, but these smell really good. Um, factory lacing is pretty clean. All right, so the suede on these I can't. To be, to be exactly sure, I'm not 100% positive, but I think the suede on this is supposed to be a little bit longer, a little bit more fine. Um, this feels good, but 
and it the, the, the texture changes uh, color, but not comes with a shoe tree. All right, and then factory lace, as you can see, I'm doing that. Loosen these up. All right. That's another little shoe tree thing right here. So taking out the insole, kind of sticky. I guess that's a little bit of glue. Uh, has a men's 12. Is there a 12? I don't know if y'all can see in there, but that number in there, can y'all see that? There's a number in there. Let me know in the comment section if the Authentics have this number on the inside of the shoe. The laces are the laces are thin. They feel good. There. Oh, I also see something else. Can y'all see that? Let me see. I see something. If y'all can see that right there, it's gonna be hard for y'all to see that. But there is a five with the circle around it right there if y'all can see that it's kind of like in a silverish painting almost it's right there if y'all can see that the spring works fine laces are fine here's the the tag on the inside here's the back of the shoe so, in my opinion, this is a well-made shoe. Um, I won't be able to give you a definite answer if these are authentic or not. Um, but, if these are replicas, unauthentic, fakes, whatever you want to call them, these are very well-made. Um, I don't support fakes whatsoever or replicas. So, when I do some more research um, on this shoe and check the legitimacy of the shoe and I don't know if I want to keep them or not so obviously if they're if they're real then I'll keep them if not then I'll, I'll uh, have to let them go honestly looking more at the shoe I'm looking at this jump man right now and it's discolored a little bit there's a little little discoloration on the ball right there um, kind of on that leg right there is a little bit discoloration the jump man is not fully the same type of bronze or brown whatever color you want to call this there's also uh, something inside that sole right there a little dot the little dot is right there midsole seems to check out fine and again um, the suede I'm not sure if this is supposed to be longer suede or or what but it does change texture color um, they smell great again it has this 1991 number right here on the tongue this is a quality tongue I had a pair of sixes I don't know if you've watched the video of where I burned my uh, sport blue sixes but this tongue is the same as my sport blue sixes everything else is legit though yeah so back to the website awesomeshoes.ru uh, they wanted me to let y'all know that the, the website is legit. Um, I purchased from that website. Uh, they did give me a discount, of course, because I'm reviewing their product, but I, I did pay some money for these uh, shoes. Um, they only, you can only pay through Western Union or MoneyGram, and uh, it's not a scam. If it looks bad to you, if it looks like a well-managed or poor or, you know, scammer, scammer type website, it's not. I literally purchased these shoes from awesomeshoes.ru. They came to me yesterday, no issues. You see I have the both boxes, both shoes. They do have some replica shoes on that website, so just watch out for that. And it makes it makes you wonder like if they have fakes on their website, replicas on their website, are these shoes that I purchased and the Easy Boost authentic? They these were in the authentic category and I have these in hand right now. They seem legit, but I, I just, I'm not 100% sure. Yo, so my cousin is uh, coming out to give me his thoughts on the, the new Jordan 6 Harvest. Here he comes right now. 
So what do you what do you think, sir? A person messages me saying they like my videos and they have a website and that I can just um, order some shoes. They give me a discount for them. So, and I had, I'm checking if they're authentic or not. That's what I'm doing in this video right now. Yeah. So my question is because I'm having a hard time. My cousin cousin's in the kicks also. So. The question is, do you think these are authentic, bro? Like, real talk. Got the Jordan Air on the back. Got the Jordan on the bottom. Jordan right here. The tongue looks real, like a six tongue. Uh, all this stuff looks pretty real to me. Gonna look fake. So. Yeah. All right. So he says they said it look real. I don't know. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Give me your thoughts on them, bro. What do you think? This right here is sick, bro. Yeah? Yeah, bro. Bottom, sexy. Got the brown. Could wear this with anything, bro. Anything. Burgundy, olive, black. It's a dub, bro. It's a dub. It's a dub. All right, Cuzzo, Cuzzo says they're a dub. Uh, yeah. I like them, too. I like them, too. They they clean. They clean this, this really milky ice... Uh, this milky sole is what really sets it off. This milky sole with the the white uh, and this white uh, midsole is really clean. My size too. I might have to steal these. Uh oh, he he's, he he said he might have steal these. Hey, boot game. <laughs> hey, boot game, dog. Hey, but yeah. So uh, yeah, let's get to this on feet review. That's this, this is it, guys. These are this is what I purchased. It is a fall colorway. As you, as you can tell by the Golden Harvest, um, it's a fall colorway. It's all upper premium suede. I'm not sure if this is the premium on the authentic ones. I like sixes. They're one of my favorites out of out of the Jordan retro um, styles. But this Golden Harvest colorway, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not. It's it's more of something I would keep in my closet or keep as a a, a spectacle item for say like something I just have to have you know I, I just can't see myself wearing these out on the streets like that um, or to any parties or anything just because of this all upper suede and this white midsole here and the sole is icy so all that factors into just um, you know just a lot of management with these shoes so just watch out for that if you decide to pick these up you know and you choose to wear these out to a party or somewhere where you, they can get trashed just watch out just know that you know suede is not the easiest thing to clean uh, icy soles are not the easiest thing to keep clean whatsoever so just watch out for that but these are the shoes I didn't go over the box at all this is the box here. It's kind of like it's a it's like it's a, like a cement box. Um, looks like that. Maybe maybe y'all will be able to tell if these are legit or not by this UPC code right here. Just let me know what y'all think. Size size 12. The paper is very very thin. Um, very very thin. Uh, I'm not sure how the authentic paper is for the real, the authentic Golden Harvest. But yeah, that's that's my thoughts on the Golden Harvest. Those are it. They were, once again, they retail for $190 and they release November 21st. So if you want to pick them up, there you go. There's a look at them. And um, if you enjoyed the vid, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up, obviously. Uh, comment what you think if they're legit or not. Stay tuned for this on feed video. It's your boy that guy Guapo here. If you're new again, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Guapo Game. I see y'all. I love y'all. Peace.